the, the older I get, um, and as I see my friends and my family get older, it's apparent to me that mental health issues exist on many levels. It's not always just uh, the one person that you see of like who's really kind of struggling. I think for the most part, there's probably a lot of people who are walking around who are completely functioning, who are also suffering from some sort of mental health issue. And I think that's just, that's just something as a society, as a culture that we need to address better. Uh, but I think it also takes conversations because again, I think it's, it's somewhat of a taboo subject. You don't want to question somebody. It's like, are you, are you doing okay? Are you feeling okay? You usually take that. That's maybe a little bit too personal. But you know, what I found in my experience with my family and friends that by talking about it, it seems to kind of deflate that. It seems to demystify that. And when you can talk about things and if you can open up and, and be a little vulnerable, I think oftentimes you'll find that people are much more um, willing to share and feel more comfortable in those environments. Uh, you know, and when you're working in high stress environments like this, this office, it can be competitive. We get a lot of type A people here who don't necessarily want to um, say anything. I mean, I was just watching uh, the HBO docu documentary, The Weight of Gold, and it's pretty interesting. It's about uh, all of these Olympians um, who all were poised to be number one <clears throat> and to win gold medals. And some who did, uh, and some didn't. They just happened to, in the moment, they froze or something happened. Um, but what, they, what was interesting is they talked a lot about, uh, it was all about mental health. Not only leading up to that of focusing for four years, literally on two minutes, three minutes of, of performance and then that's it. And how much pressure there is there and, and how much stress and mental health issues they had and how they really don't have access to that. That's not, somehow that's not given to them not only before when they're in the process, but then afterwards. So, you know, some people who went to go win four or five, six gold medals, and then afterwards they just went from this incredible high and they just dropped down to this low where the world didn't know who they were. Or other people who, you know, worked for four years and they failed in that moment and that was it. Their chance for gold was completely finished. And they talked to them about, you know, the before of how they felt and the stress of that and just the weight of the pressure to, to um, to produce and to perform. So, you know, I think you see, I think you see it in every sector, in every industry. And, you know, I think oftentimes what we do uh, can exacerbate that just given the stressors of what we do. And again, it's not necessarily that you start work at an architecture office and they tell you, are you gonna work 14, 16 hours a day for six, seven days a week? It's just, you end up getting consumed by the work and by the process and you always want to do the right thing i think that's the great thing about architects is we're all again we're all kind of working towards one goal and we don't want to let our teammates down uh, because we all know that everyone's pulling their equal amount of weight and you know if i'm suffering from something physical or something mental and, and I'm, I'm struggling and i probably really need to take a little bit of time off but i can't uh, or I shouldn't because I don't want to leave my teammates with more work to do because I already know that they're stressed out. Um, you know, I think that it's not necessarily the process that needs to change. I think sometimes it's just maybe having a more open conversation about, hey, after this, I really need to take two to three weeks off. I just need to kind of reset a few things, talking to your peers, talking to your superiors about that or whatever. I think that there can be much more healthier ways to address that and just to open it up. And I think it needs to be a dialogue and not something that's just so taboo 